For the first part of isolation, I'm going to turn this heater on in the bathroom and leave it running while I go to the switchboard and turn circuit breakers off until I can confirm that I've turned the right circuit breaker off. I'm lucky this heater is still operational so I can still hear it outside of the room when I go to the switchboard which will make identifying the circuit breaker a little bit easier. So I'll turn it on now and go to the switchboard. So I'm at the switchboard here and I can still hear that bathroom fan going from across the hallway. Now I'll turn the power circuits off and back on until I can identify exactly what one turns the bathroom heater off. Sounds like the bathroom heater is on this circuit breaker here. So I'll turn that circuit breaker off and I'll lock that circuit breaker out. Now that it's locked and tagged out, no one's accidentally going to be able to turn it back on while I'm working. As you can see, the isolation switch is still turned on in the bathroom here and the heater is not functioning anymore. So we can safely turn that off and start removing the heater. We always need to test before we touch any cables. Before using a multimeter to test the circuit with, we need to verify that the leads on the multimeter are intact. And then the second check we need to do is to proof test proof on a known live circuit to ensure that this meter is reading the correct results. First we'll put the meter on ohms, touch the two cable ends together and ensure it's 0.0, .0 or close enough to it. Then we're going to throw it into volts AC and we're going to test the socket outlet that we know is live. So testing at the first outlet here, we can see the meter is capable of reading 240 volts on a circuit. Testing at the heater here, we can see the meter is displaying there is no voltage on the cable here. We'll test between phase in earth and phase in neutral. And then we verify that once again the meter is able to determine 240 volts at a known live power outlet. So we can be assured this cable is in fact dead and we have de the correct circuit for the bathroom heater.